WBZ this morning. The Museum of African American History is looking for people to get involved and volunteer or just to come out and see what the, they have to offer. And in this week's For Your Community, I'm joined by Museum's Executive Director, Marita Rivero. Good morning yeah. to you. Thank you so much for being Thank here you. on this cold, cold <laughs> January morning. Let's talk about your role as the Executive Director and your staff and being really the gatekeepers in preserving just the rich African American history that New England has. It's extraordinary. People don't know it at all, really. Uh, and this community, which started on the, in the north end, moved to the north slope of Beacon Hill behind uh, the State House. It's mm -hmm. an African American community. Built an African meeting house in 1806. They needed a place to meet, they needed concerts, and most importantly, they were fighting slavery. And, and this is a historic landmark and the yeah. oldest African meeting house in the country. It's the oldest, it started as a church, so the oldest extant African church that we know of in the uh, African American church in the country. It just wasn't torn down. Mm -hmm. It was on Beacon Hill, and there's another one on Nantucket. So we own both of them. So we like people to come out and just think about this history because they worked together across difference, they worked across race, across class. They were here in Boston and they changed a terrible law. Mm -hmm. They ended slavery. That's you incredible. just can't beat that as a place to visit. And you, you trace the, the black community through the years in a number of different exhibits. My most, I mean, one that I just found fascinating is that one of Frederick oh. Douglass that you have. Yeah. I did not know that he is the most photographed American man in the 19th century. Isn't Tell us about this exhibit. It's he incredible. walked off the plantation, dressed as a sailor, got on a ship, came to New Bedford, and just started talking about his experiences and spoke very well. So around that time, someone created the Duracotype, a camera, cheap, and people started making images. And he wanted to change the image of black men who were seen as cartoon figures. So he dressed well, arranged his hair. Uh, took a million pictures, they turned out to be like baseball cards. <laughs> right? Because any chance he had to take a portrait, he would he, take he it. He would take it. And at first he looked very fierce, then he became a statesman later on, he had that three-quarter profile. But what he was doing was raising money for abolition, uh, working for his cause, and Massachusetts just has to embrace this man. So this exhibit is up, it's at 46 Joy Street, we're open, you know, Monday through Saturday, okay. 10 to 4. Uh, it's just something people should build into their lives, I think. Yes, and check it's, out. Visit the site, mm -hmm. visit the exhibit, and come to other kinds of programs we have there. Uh, an opportunity to do so would be next Monday, Martin yeah. Luther King yeah. Day. A lot of people uh, commemorate the holiday as a day of service, and so are you. So do we. So we have joined with the city for almost a decade now, and a special event. It's going to be held at Boston University. You can go to our website to find out. But the Boston Youth Symphony Orchestra is there. We really think about King's words and what it means today. Okay. The whole point of a museum is to talk to us right now. Yeah, and to preserve the history and to, preserve and to the continue history. that tradition. And let us think about what we're doing today. How, yeah. can, we, how can we imagine Very doing important. what we do better? Very important. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us in this important conversation Thank and sharing you. with us what you do. For more information, you can head to the website on your screen and share this clip on our website. You can find it at cbsboston.com.